Hey, good morning. <clears throat> this doesn't really fit very well for the kind of thing you're, you're showing. You, you, you want a square shaped raised pork here. Now I'm just going to do it. Use the same kind of wall here that you've got. Um, in your picture, it goes from side to side. So it feels that it's kind of rectangular shaped, I think, and it fills that whole area. Move that over to the other monitor. So that would fill in. <coughs> that would fill in this entire area. Let's see if you say your defaults to, to this kind of wall. I, don't, I was checking. You did. Okay, very good. So we'll draw with that. I would think you would go across here. I know it's kind of arbitrary. In the picture, can't really tell from the picture exactly the geometry of the entry. So, <clears throat> so let me draw polyline here. I'm intending to draw the thing kind of like this. Something like that. That's my thought. So let me go up a level. Let's see we're gonna add oh we got a second floor. Okay. Good. I'm going to turn on the reference display so I can see the first floor, wall, first floor walls. And then we'll draw our little thing in there. I need that to line up with the wall below. So I'm going to arrow key it over. And then when it gets close enough, I'll just click on, on this align below tool. Okay. <coughs> He didn't give me exact dimensions, so I'm just going to make some up, okay? We'll draw over that automatic wall that, that drew there. So we've got a second floor here. I'm going to designate this uh, open below. Again, that's just artistic license. Okay, let's take a look at that. <coughs> Yeah, not bad. Look at that picture again. Now it looks like you set the ceiling height kind of sort of good. Now we got a, an issue here which really doesn't fit. I'm gonna get I'm gonna delete that. Oh I see you had auto build roofs on. That's why that that roof appeared. I'm just going to bypass that and connect this edge here to this edge over here, if it will go. Doesn't seem to want to go. Let me just drag it over there. I don't know why the software was resisting that, but it was. We'll connect the ridge, <coughs> excuse me, connect the ridge. Along here. Huh, it's resisting doing what I'm telling it to do. <laughs> Let me go to plan view and see what's going on. Okay, you don't have the roof planes turned on. Well, that makes sense. Let's turn them on. Okay, there that stuff is. Okay, the join roofs tool didn't work because of this, this jog in here, so I'll get rid of the jog. 
drag that over there. Drag, get rid of this line segment. <clears throat> now, the software is programmed to connect one line to one line, and, that, and I gave it two lines to connect to, so I couldn't do it. Yeah, that worked. That looks pretty clean. Let's see, let's take, now there's something going on here. I don't think so. all the roof planes are on, on this level. Yeah, I'm going to send this one up. Yeah, this one was on the first floor and the other the others are on the second floor. Okay, there's a break there we probably don't need, which might be making, yeah, it's a multiple break. Look at that. <clears throat> I'm going to drag it all over, simplify the line. And again, it, the software's uh, pro programmed to connect one line, one roof line, plane line to a, a, another single roof plane line. And there were multiple breaks. Okay, it's working now. That's why it was resisting work. Okay, that's good. I don't know if it's exactly what you want, but it looks like the picture. Now the rest of it, we just go to the door tool and put a door in it. And I'm going to go and open that and change it to a, uh, excuse me, a doorway. That looks to be about 12 feet tall. And 60 inches wide, something like that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, not bad. Now, the, <clears throat> the inside there should probably be designated a porch. I probably don't want a hardwood floor on, a, on an exterior room, so we'll name it porch. That'll give it a concrete floor. And we'll get rid of the moldings. Okay, the mo changing it to porch got rid of the moldings, so okay and then that'll look more like a porch okay and then this we'll open it up and make it an arch round top <coughs> well yours is not really a round top is it let's see what this is this thing is here and we'll duplicate that oops Click on that, hit the tab key. There I got that one. I want to find out what the arch is. Elliptical, okay. Well, the ge geometry is going to be different. Well, maybe not. I can just set it the same at 71 wide and use uh, the, these same settings. I'll just copy that. And we'll use the elliptical arch on this. 71 inches wide. Go to the arch tab and make it an elliptical. Yeah, why not? You didn't talk about exactly some of these finishing details, so I'm just going to make them up. Well, it's a little asymmetric. You probably want the symmetric. I didn't really think about that, but uh, anyway, you get the idea. You can move this wall over and then redo the, the roofs so you get a more symmetrical look. But uh, that'll work. I mean, what do you want for free? Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day.